Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or just welcome if you are new. I'm Kristen and today I am doing a speed build and we are in Newcrest and I am building a small little suburban home that's for a family of five. Um, it's a very tight-knit, happy family. I figured the parents that live here probably have a family aspiration. Probably the big happy family one is what I was thinking. So I was able to actually fit four bedrooms in this house and then two bathrooms. And that is quite good. I usually can only fit like, I don't know, like two bedrooms, maybe three if they're on the smaller side in a house like this. But I was happy that I was able to actually fit four bedrooms. I almost did three bedrooms and three bathrooms. And I, was, I thought, you know, that maybe too many bathrooms. <laughs> um, I think the four bedrooms and then two bathrooms is perfect for this house. And as far as the family that lives here, I was thinking there is two parents, at one or two parents, at least one, <laughs> and then a teen that their bedroom is downstairs and that the parents, the master bedrooms is upstairs and then the child's bedrooms upstairs and the infant's bedroom is upstairs. So. That is a five person family and there is really no more room to grow in this house. This is a very small house. They definitely occupied every single room. And then the living room's on the smaller side. The kitchen is on the smaller side because it's also made into the dining room as well. And so the rooms in this house are not the biggest just keep that in mind but they are big enough to where you're able to comfortably play in this house I know I've said this before but I actually prefer to play in a house that's on the smaller side it makes it easier to be within distance of each of your sims you don't have to try to track each of your sims separately on such a big lot it makes it hard for me um, I've played on big like farms before and how it's fun playing on a big beautiful lot don't get me wrong but it's just a pain in the butt when it comes to finding the sims I am so bad about losing them <laughs> and I have to like right click on them every single time and they're literally on the other side of the house than the current sim I'm playing and so I just find it easier to play with a smaller lot. So we pretty much have the shape of the house down. I really wanted to keep that suburban look and so I have like the pop out walls and the roofing to make it look like the suburban house. And of course I used blue paneling. Um, there's something about a blue suburban that just always looks good. I haven't done one in a, in a while so I figured it was the time was now to do a blue suburban and so I wanted to do that but I also added some like accents using the stone that's on the chimney and I also put a stone wall in the front like that little pop out area I, I made that stone and then right here in the back I make that pop out area stone as well and we are over into the backyard and I did something a little bit different with this backyard. So I used to do this all the time. I would use that fencing from base game that it looks like it's, it's for like transition maybe or to put on, si on the side of garden beds. But I, like I said, I, I used to do this all the time and I put it to where it looks like it's like a canopy over the house. Um, I'm not sure if that's the right word to use, but almost like making a fake porch out there. And it's quite large right now. I do make it smaller here in just a minute because I decided I wanted to make a little pool out here as well. And so that's another thing. This is a small house, a very small yard but I was able to fit a pool, so I was very happy about that. I don't think on 20 by 15 lots I do pools very often because I run out of room so quickly, but I was able to put a small one here. It's definitely not ideally shaped, as in it's right up against the fence. So I don't love that, but luckily this is The Sims, and so it doesn't have to be realistic. Um, I know some pools in real life do have it like that. I've been looking at houses a lot online lately, just seeing what houses are out there just in case, you know, I'm interested in moving and just keeping up on like the price 
the prices of housing and things like that. I think it's important to know all that. You never know what situation you might end up being in in the future. And so it's always better to prepare and just know what is happening out there, you know? So um, with that being said, I have been looking at a lot of different houses and there are some houses that have pools right up against fences. Maybe not like a privacy fence like this. It's usually like part of like a screened in area. But I have not been able to figure out how to do a screened in area for the pool yet. I almost put this like that roofing, the, the fencing that I made. I made a roof with the fencing, okay? And I almost put that over the pool and tried to think of how to make like a screened in look. I have not figured it out yet. Um, I will have to figure something out with that. I, there has to be a way to make like a, a faux screened in pool. So that's definitely on my list of things to try out. I know I've said this previously in a video. I have not been able to play around with it yet, but it's definitely something that I still want to do. I think that'd be really interesting. And we are just putting some landscaping out here in the back. Nothing too crazy as far as landscaping goes. This definitely is on the lighter side than what I usually do. Um, since it's such a small yard, I figured I didn't want to put too much landscaping. And I also, in the backyard, wanted to fit like a swing or like maybe a jungle gym. But of course the jungle gym is not going to fit. That is way too small of a backyard to put a jungle gym. And I thought of monkey bars, but in this specific area of Newcrest, there is a little location off on the back of the house. There's like a little park area that have monkey bars. And so I didn't want to put monkey bars in this backyard since there's already some so close. And so I, I ended up putting a swing set and it almost did not fit. I had to kind of put it on a diagonal. And then I was able to get it to fit. So that was great. And I am just putting some terrain paint down and I am now finally starting to get into the floor plan of the house. So like I said, the rooms are on the smaller side. I had a hard time in the very beginning to figure out how I wanted to make the floor plan. And so this right here is me struggling. Um, I wanted to put a bedroom or not the bedroom. I wanted to put the bathroom downstairs for sure, at least one of the bathrooms. And so that is why I'm kind of messing around with the rooms. And I almost put it on the side of the house by like the fake chimney area, but it made the living room look way too small. And I didn't want like a super small living room. I knew it was gonna have to be small anyways, but I didn't want it to be like too small. And so I couldn't do that. So I ended up putting just a smaller like two by four with an additional like two by five bathroom downstairs I end up I actually end up making the bathroom a little bit bigger than that by adding an additional square foot to it um, so I was able to put a shower in that area and then I put an additional bathroom upstairs like I was telling you guys at the beginning of this video and then I like I said that other bedroom that's smaller it's like three by three right in the back corner I almost made that a different bathroom but that was just gonna be too many bathrooms with how many bedrooms was in this house and how small this house is so I figured it made a lot more sense to make it a bedroom as well and I want this to be a family house and so I thought it was perfect to make that an additional bedroom and it just it was perfect to have as a nursery and now we are finally downstairs and starting to furnish the house so I didn't really have any particular style I was wanting to go with when I started furnishing this house just you know the basic standard suburban house I feel like most of my furnishings on the inside of the house look a lot of the same um, this living room ended up being a little bit different so I put the sectional there and I actually made the sectional go on the side where the door is so it kind of cut that living room off where the front entryway was and by doing that I had like just a little little area to put the coffee table and so I ended up putting that all the way onto the side of the wall and I thought that was kind of interesting I've never done it like this before and so it's definitely different <laughs> And I, of course, used my favorite rug in the game, 
there's just something about this rug. It's just very bright and colorful and it just looks really good in the houses that I build. And the color scheme is so easy to go off of. Like it's so easy to match that rug. And so um, I almost made the walls blue in this room. But I ended up doing the couch blue instead and then making the walls more of a beige color. I'm not quite sure why I ended up going that route, but I think it looks a lot better to have it as beige. I thought the blue was a little bit too light colored and another reason I just do blue all the time. <laughs> so I wanted to do something a little bit different. And now I'm just putting some like wall decor on the walls. I wanted to fill this lot up with family pictures since this is such a family house. And then I realized once I put the TV down in the living room that I forgot to put a fireplace. And the way I had the rug positioned, I really liked it. I thought it was kind of fun and different. And so I didn't want to place the fireplace right on top of the rug. And so I kind of placed it over there by where the staircase is and then just put an additional wall there. And then I put some wall decor up above the fireplace. And I've never really decorated a living room quite like that before. I might have used those decorations before, but the format of the living room is very different than what I tend to do. And so that was fun. It's always fun to do something different. And I'm quite happy with the way that it turned out overall. I mean, is it the best one I've done? No. <laughs> but it, it's not the worst one that I've done either. So I guess that that's a win-win situation, I suppose. Uh, but we are over into the kitchen now. And like I was saying, the kitchen is on the smaller side. There is one counter that you can actually use as a area to prepare the meals. And that's really all that you need. I mean, you don't have to have a bunch of counter space. So this is a very functional kitchen. It's, it's not huge. You don't have extra stuff, but it, it's, you got what you need. So I guess you can't complain too much there. <laughs> and then I put some like family picture portraits on the other side of the wall. And then on this side of the wall that we are looking at, I put the calendar and the little organizational chart as well. And I end up coming back and putting a rug there eventually. I don't remember when. It won't be in too much longer than right now, but I just totally overlooked it as I was decorating it the first time. And so eventually I do go back and put a rug there. And it's just like a blue rug or something like that. And now we are into the downstairs bathroom. There's really nothing special here. I do have to note the fact that I accidentally at some point deleted parts of the bathroom. And so at the end of this video, you'll see me just go back and that rug actually changes. I don't know what I was thinking when I put that yellow rug in there. It doesn't really fit the vibe of the house at all. <laughs> and so I, yeah, I ended up changing it towards the end and I put like some neutral color in there. I thought it looked a lot better in that bathroom since it's just such like a beige and white bathroom as it is. And now we are over into the teenager's room. So I wanted to do something different when it came to the teenager's room. I don't really know where I was going with this. <laughs> I just, I just wanted it to be different. It's kind of on the boho side. I love that bed that comes with high school years. That is a beautiful bed. And then I put a lot of like the posters from high school years all around the room. I just wanted it to look very on the, not really the hippie side, but I guess more of the boho side. And I think I did a pretty good job. I think it looks very boho-ish and it looks like something a teen girl would love so and then I put this dresser in here and it looks like whoever owns this dresser in this case the teen girl she painted it and decorated it herself on like the dresser itself was that tan color like that wood color and then she just got some paint out and ended up painting the face of it and I think it's so cute um, this room turned out pretty cute and then I put a little 
streaming computer there as well. I figured she was um, a, a part-time streamer. When she's not at school, she, she loves to do video games and stream the video games that she plays. And then I'm just putting some more posters on this side, something that I thought a teen girl would like. And I thought those posters were pretty cute. And then I also put that cat radio. I I can't remember where that cat radio is from. I think it's from the like the backyard kit, the kit backyard kids kit, the backyard campers kit. That's what it's called. Um, that is where it's from. So obviously this is not a pack restricted build whatsoever. I I probably used a couple of kits and then. Probably at least a dozen packs. I'm not sure. It's I do a lot of base game work though So this is few and far between I will go crazy and do like a full Pack build so if you're interested in looking at base game builds then definitely go check out my channel and subscribe if you have not yet already because I do a lot of base game builds and then I frequently sometimes will do full out pack builds as well. Something I have not done very much on my channel is one pack builds and things like that so I want to start trying to do that more often. I have had a couple of requests to do that over on my gallery page and I've also had some requests to do restricted like budget packs like do like or not packs but <laughs> builds I mean like restricted fun builds like you do it under like 30,000 simoleons and stuff like that and um, that sounds really fun I'm probably going to start doing that at some point too I actually started this build off wanting to make it a budget build like I, I wanted to try to keep it under 30,000 simoleons but the more I was adding on the outside and the way it, it just looked really pretty on the outside and I wanted to add all the different flower boxes on the windows and landscaping and I, I hate using debug landscaping. It's just not fun for the gameplay aspect of it. They don't change colors in the seasons pack and that just drives me crazy. I want my trees to change like colors during fall and then get bare during winter and they don't do that if they're part of the debug and so I try to use the real trees and bushes and landscaping as much as possible but by doing that it does hike up the bill <laughs> like it makes the house a lot more expensive than it really needs to be. And so this house at the end ended up costing, I think, around 80 to 90,000 simoleons, which is quite a lot of simoleons for a house this big. But keep in mind that this is a five person house or a five bedroom, four bedroom and five family, a family of five house. <laughs> I had such a hard time figuring out how to say that phrase for some reason, but this is a house that holds a family of five and so just keep that in mind I guess the simoleons aren't too too bad since this is a family of five but it's still on the higher end um I just went crazy with the decorations <laughs> I don't know what else to say on that but I ended up just placing like different things around now looking back I placed those on the counter and I meant to go back and place them in different spots so I'll probably do that once I get off of the voiceover and so the things I put on the dresser might look a little bit differently but they will look better than just placed randomly on on the dresser and then I end up going back and putting some shoes over there and stuff and just making it looked look lived in you know and then I put a computer desk in here and I really wanted to put a decoration on top of the computer desk but I couldn't find anything that really looked like it belonged there and so I just gave up on that idea <laughs> and now we are in the master bathroom there is one thing about this master bathroom there is not a shower in here so I know a lot of people including myself only like their sims to go in the shower because if they go in the bathtub they just take so long in the bathtub and honestly I prefer showers in real life anyways. 
I do love taking baths, but I typically will run the shower afterwards to finish rinsing off. I'm not sure why. I might be weird for doing that, but I just feel like it rinses off the additional soap that got on me during the bath. You guys, you guys know what I mean? And so, anyways, this bathroom is a very cute bathroom, and the reason why I ended up putting a tub was because the shower tub combo just didn't fit and since there's an infant in this, in this house there had to be a tub somewhere um you have to bathe your temp infant and then once they go into the toddler phase they have to be bathed in the bathtub then too so i had to put a bathtub somewhere and it had to be in the parents bathroom <laughs> unfortunately and by doing that since the window was so, so big i couldn't do the shower tub combo and so we had to just put a bathtub. It is what it is. It's not the end of the world. If you guys don't like that, you can place the shower tub combo in some, some type of way. If you don't care about it clipping on the window, then it's definitely going to be functional. It just didn't look ideal, and so I didn't want to put that there. But if you download this house off the gallery, which it will be on there by the time this video is posted, you could totally just make that a regular shower or a shower tub combo if you don't mind a clipping with the shower. So just keep that in mind if you do download this house. And so we are over into the child's bedroom now. I ended up just doing a dinosaur theme in this bedroom. And I thought this child that lives in this bedroom was very, very smart. So I put the mental table in there as well to, so that they can practice their mental skill. And then they are a huge dinosaur fan, obviously. There's dinosaurs everywhere in that kid's room. And I also put some of those fun, like, ribbons up on the wall. It looks like he won, or he or she. It's kind of a gender-neutral bedroom, honestly. But I kind of thought it might be a boy that lives in there. And so I put some ribbons on the wall. So it looks like they received that at school. And I thought that was a fun little touch. And now we are into the infant's room. This is not, you know, I looking back, I forgot to add some toys in this poor infant's room. It's very, very bland. <laughs> and I don't think I put anything on the other wall for some reason. I guess I was just done with this build at this point. <laughs> and so now I'm just putting some individual wall decor pieces in the hallway just trying to make it look nice and filled up and then I am trying to find a rug to put down here so it just doesn't look so empty I like my hallways to look decorated as well but yeah with all that being said we're pretty much to the end now guys I don't think there's much else now I'm just changing the lighting in there I I like to build with those small circular lights. They have the best light to look at like all the different objects and things like that. And it, it's, I think it's like the white lighting that just makes it look better. But as far as gameplay goes and make it look more homey, I really enjoy these lights that I put out. They're like the, I'm not sure what you call those. They're really just normal lights, honestly, that you find in a lot of people's houses. But with all of that being said, guys, we are nearing the end now. So I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, then leave a like so I know that you did and I'll make plenty of family homes in the future. I honestly probably will do that regardless, but just, just like the video, just help me out a little bit, guys. It will help push my video to other people in the algorithm that enjoy watching speed builds. And also, subscribe if you have not already. I already said that earlier in this video, but I figured I would say it again. Alright guys, well I hope you all have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!